witnessed in the future. If you can't convince me in that time, or if I find any trace of a darker nature, I'll end your existence. Janine Mason. Catch a new episode of Roswell, New Mexico, this Monday at 8, 7 central. Now at 10, they're calling it the Houdini of COVID, a super infectious subvariant that's spreading across Southern California tonight, evading immunity and slipping past vaccines. Plus a violent attack in the produce aisle, the shocking supermarket assault that landed a shopper in the hospital. What are you going to do? Nice college boy, eh? They want to get mixed up in the family business. Now you want to gun down a police captain one because he slapped you in the face a little bit. And remembering legendary actor James Caan now on the news at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. We begin with breaking news. Former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is hospitalized, reportedly in heart failure, after being shot twice during a campaign event. Japanese media reporting police have captured the gunman who was armed with what appeared to be some sort of homemade weapon. The shooting unfolding at 11.30 a.m. local time as Abe was giving a campaign speech just days before the election for Japan's upper house of parliament. Video from the scene shows shows the 67-year-old lying on the ground after gunshots were heard in the western city of Nara near Kyoto. Fire officials say Abe was taken by ambulance to a medical evaluation and evacuation helicopter, then transported to a hospital. He is said to be unconscious and not showing any vital signs. The attack comes as a shock in a country considered one of the world's safest and with some of the strictest gun laws. Abe stepped down after a record-breaking tenure as Japan's prime minister in 2020 because of chronic health problems, but remains influential in the country's ruling Democratic Party. And in a tweet, U.S. Ambassador to Japan uh, praised Abe. He wrote in part, quote, Abe-san has been a, an outstanding leader of Japan, an unwavering ally of the U.S. The U.S. government and American people are praying for the well-being of Abe-san, his family, and people of Japan. We will bring you the very latest on the shooting of Shinzo Abe as more details become available. Here at home, a dangerous new coronavirus subvariant called the worst version of the virus we've seen yet is spreading across Southern California tonight. The super infectious Omicron BA variant, BA5 variant, eludes immunity, which means if you've had COVID in recent weeks, you could get it again. Sandra Mitchell is live in Hollywood with advice from experts on how to protect yourself. Sandra. Yeah, Sharon, Micah, it is a different beast with this superpower to get past immunity. You know, the experts keep telling us, uh, avoid crowds, get your vaccines, keep wearing your mask. But even if you do all that, they tell us you could still get BA5 because this one doctor describes it is like the Houdini of COVID. Mutating and on the move, health experts say this could be the start of a summer surge of coronavirus. A new Omicron variant means even people who tested positive just a few months ago could get sick again. Unlike any other variant, it has this incredible capacity for immune escape. BA5 now is the dominant strain in the U.S., highly contagious, even for those who are vaccinated, boosted, or previously infected. Because it tends to have this capacity for reinfection, we're worried that we're going to see increasing cases throughout the summer. California's test positivity rate is way up, 10 times as high as it was in April, going from 1.5 to 50. 15 percent. Here in L.A. County, it's even higher, 16.9 percent. Dr. Dean Bloomberg of UC Davis says the new variant is discouraging news for the 3.1 million in the L.A. area who already endured a bout of COVID. There's emerging research that suggests which, with each repeat infection, there are complications, other complications that may occur, such as strokes, heart attacks, and, and, and other long-term complications. Vaccines are still valuable, preventing serious illness in most people. Hospitalizations and deaths remain relatively low. But more than half of all California counties now meet the COC threshold for high community levels. And if L.A. returns to high and remains there for two weeks. County health officials say the indoor mask mandate will return.